Hey guys, it's me, Delicious Delights. How are you guys doing? Hopefully well. Okay, so today I have a video on Chanel Low. Oh, sorry, Chanel Number no. 5 Low. And I have had a few requests to talk about this fragrance in particular after I <laughs> released my Chanel Number no. 5 EDP review, which was an unfavorable review. It was not really, really a review, just my thoughts on it. So I want to give you guys my thoughts about this flanker. It's the newest flanker, I believe, from Chanel Number no. 5, which happens to be the most popular women's fragrance of all time. Okay, so I have just sprayed it on my skin here. And I can tell you guys right off the bat that I don't get, thankfully, I don't get those screechy, harsh, pea-like aldehydes that I do in the uh, EDP. So that's awesome, first of all. This fragrance on my skin opens up as a very soft, creamy, citrusy musk. It also has a beautiful vanilla sweetness in this opening, which I really, really like. And when I first sprayed it on my skin, and I don't think I've heard or seen anything about this fragrance having um, a similarity to this particular fragrance that I'm going to mention before, but to me, it smells kind of like Aquavitae uh, Forte by MFK, also the, the regular um, Aquavitae. Not exactly, but they kind of have similarities. They are in the same family. And I actually really, 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 really like Aquavitae Forte and Aquavitae by Maison Francis Kirkjean. So this seems like a, a kind of like an, uh, a lighter, softer version of that. It's really crisp in the beginning. It's really, really nice, actually. I really like this. So I will say I do really like this fragrance. It's like there is like small similarities between the two like the edp and this one but it's they're pretty much different um i do smell way 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 back in the background those aldehydes i also smell it in coco mademoiselle as well and edt and also the edp but it doesn't bother me in this one because in this one what is most prominent on my skin is just a very soft um, a floral citrus cream sweetness and it's really really pleasing there is musk in here I believe I have the notes here I'll read it to you guys in a second there is musk and I do smell it but it actually doesn't overpower at any point in this fragrance it just is there and it adds to it like a soft wispy air kind of thing and um, yeah, you guys, I do like this fragrance. I like the way it smells. It's very, very light, though. Really great for, like, all year round, but I think it would be better probably in warmer weather, like the spring or the summer. And I do like it, you guys. Like, I like it a lot, actually. <laughs> it's a good alternative and a cheaper alternative to Aquavitae, in my opinion. Because they just smell, they have that same creaminess going on. The Aquavitae doesn't have aldehydes as far as I know. But uh, there is this beautiful musk in the, the MFK version. That kind of mimics that aldehydic kind of feel. And uh, I like the fragrance, you guys. I also got a comment saying, if I didn't like the other, the, the original number 5 EDP, then I shouldn't bother with the flankers and I kind of get that but these two are quite different different enough to not even like if this wasn't a flanker um, they could have just named it like something completely different you know but okay so the notes in here well this was released in 2016 and the nose is of Olivier Polge and the, the notes are lemon, mandarin in the top. We have lemon, mandarin, orange, neroli, and aldehydes. In the heart, we have rose, ylang-ylang, and jasmine. Mm. <laughs> and the base is cedar, white musk. Cedar and white musk. As for the florals in this fragrance, you can definitely smell them, but they're not so... Like, I can't distinguish which florals they are. They just are so blended really beautifully with all the other notes that um, all I can say to my nose is just it smells florally mostly in the uh, mid and in the dry down 
and in the opening I get mostly like this beautiful bright sparkling crisp fresh creamy citrusy vanilla slightly musky and um, slightly aldehydic just so it's a, such a small touch of it that it it's it's there but it's not like bothering me because I'm not really like a huge aldehyde fan so yeah that would be my thoughts on number five low by the house of Chanel I like it I really really do like it oh maybe I'll buy it I'm not sure I haven't decided yet <laughs> I have to wear it more but I do like the fragrance a lot so I would like to hear your guys thoughts on this fragrance let me know in the comments and I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you guys next time. See you guys. Bye.